Hello, good morning, Kalimera. Buen venu. How are you? This is the Hoof GP, and this is Mrs. HGP. Say hiya. Hi. Today we're on our way to one of my favourite farms, but it's not actually because of the cows, it's because they produce my favourite ice cream. We're on our way to Cream of Galloway ice cream, and hopefully we won't get chased. Last time the bull went for me, which is why I brought the Messies along for the ride. That way he'll tire all of his energy out on her, and then he should be okay for me. A thought guys this is the shed and we are kind of still under construction kind of because we're tidying it out and making it nice but it's still gonna look really really plain but how cool would it be if you guys all sent us flags from all around the world and you could write a little note on it or whatever you want if you want to send me a flag with a personal note on it we'll hang it up in here don't if you don't want to do if you do want to but if you do want to get in touch with the hoofgp at gmail.com and we'll send you an address right she's got her feet on time for me to get mine on Do the welly dance. You ready? Yep. She says she's going to show me how it's done. Probably. By the way, the Metsuzu is going. I hate the thing. It is rubbish. It bounces up and down. It's got no power whatsoever. It slips everywhere. Everything on the inside is pants. So yeah, we're getting a different pick up and luckily the guys I bought that off said they would buy it back off me for exactly what I paid so happy days double check if it's tight which it is let's go you haven't really took care of the pickup have you it's not that bad yeah uh, fair play why don't you drive <laughs> she's never driven with a trailer on the back well maybe for have you been videoing yeah actually she has when she's been there, when I've been videoing extras for the for the Appleton, so yeah, she has actually, only for a few miles. You did really well, actually. Yes, better than you. Anyway, let's get there and see the sexy ass bull. Me and Ash, Ash and me, Ash and I, me and the Mrs. HGP, she used to sit and chill in the back in the pickup with magazines while I was freeze branded and stuff, didn't you? Yep. It was cool, wasn't it? Took my snaps, had my magazines, and my videos. And it was quite nice, wasn't it? Because like we'd go all the way to the north of Scotland and make a trip of it. Yeah. Do you miss me coming to work with you? I do a bit actually. Of course I do. Yeah. Craig's pretty, but is Craig better company? No, but he's probably better trimming than you. No offence. Could get him a run for his money. Anyway, the kids are at their granny's today, and we thought it'd be nice if Ashley just come to work with me. So it's cool. Take the opportunities while you can, folks. Appreciate the ones you love. I maybe don't appreciate her all the time. What are you after? There was a no comment <laughs> there, basically, wasn't there? <laughs> anyway, this thing runs on diesel, not fumes. So better stop and get some, because we're running low. I also hate the fact that this is a manual, not an automatic. Or stick, as you guys say, which is fine when there's no trailer on the back. But when you've got a trailer on the back, you're just changing gears every five seconds. Not every five seconds, I exaggerate that to the point of the camera. You exaggerate? <gasps> How dare you! This is the only trouble. Cars everywhere and we have a big trailer on, so we'll struggle to get into the fuel station. Never mind actually get fuel. Haha! <laughs> go, 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 go! that painful experience over, it's time to get to Cream of Galloway, which only takes us half an hour. And just like that, we're back, baby, we're back. Who says that? This does not look that easy. Maneuvering in is going to be slightly problematic. As Murphy's Law would predict, what can go wrong does go wrong. And as usual, I need to reverse round a blind corner between two buildings round about an old tractor, not hit the JCB on the far side of the gate, in the gate and under the opening that's too low. I've just realised that doesn't fit under that. Hi! 
That is Charles. Charles is a fantastic dairyman who's worked at this farm for quite a few years now. And actually, his wife is in charge of ice cream production, so she's the one to stick in with. Anyway, it's time to get the KVK off this trailer and set up so we can attend to this bull. So just for a comparison, I'm six feet tall and normally you guys see me next to bulls. And I want to show you just how big some of these bulls actually are. These guys do not push their animals at all. This guy's got a life of luxury. His job is just purely there to sniff out the cows that are in heat, ready to be put into calf. So here's how big these bulls actually are. Ashley is petrified. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. He's taller than Ashley is. Look at that. <laughs> So he's probably... When he's got his head up, he's taller than six foot, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's definitely taller. Is he friendly? Oh, look, he's not. <laughs> Ashley's not enjoying this. Right, let's get him in the crush. And if that wasn't comparison enough for you, just watch as Charles attempts to push this big guy into the crush. Look at the height of his hips compared to Charles. Charles is also around six foot. And this big bull wonders if he'll fit into the crush. Big boy. So anybody who doubts the KVK's capabilities of taking a big bull, don't worry no more, because this guy is huge. Fair enough, he's not girthy, he's not really wide, because he's a Holstein. He's a Hol is he a Holstein? He is, he's yeah. Holstein cross. Holstein cross. Um, yeah, but he's absolutely massive. He's colossal, so a KVK can take any size. So I don't doubt Charles at all, but he's telling me he's laying on his back right foot and his front, his front left, front right well. and his front right. But he's really thin soled on this back left foot, so we need to do something about that to try to make sure he doesn't go lame on this as well. Although this bull has overworn his feet, I still need to buff them off the grinder just to see exactly what's happening. But if you look closely, I'm barely removing any material whatsoever. And even although Charles didn't think he was lame on this foot, almost immediately we find an issue. Charles looks after all the cows here at this farm and does a bit too good of a job because he doesn't ever need to call me to help him. <laughs> <laughs> but this big fella doesn't fit in his crush properly. Maybe fit in, but maybe not quite so safely, so... Clearly, he's going to need a block, so we scuff up that inner clay. Thank you, my darling. This bull has inflammation of the lamina corium. That's the part of the hoof horn behind the wall horn, which holds the wall horn to the inner anatomy of the foot, and it causes serious pain. This has probably been an abscess at one point. It's not quite at that point right now, but that inflammation is causing him serious pain. So we applied that block to lift this sore foot up off the ground. Then we douse it in iodine to allow the whole area to dry up and hopefully start to heal. And with that done, it's time to move on to the back right foot, which Charles was sure was causing this big guy some serious issues. Although his front right foot is actually by far the worst. It's immediately apparent to us all that there are lots of little cracks all around his white line on this outer claw, the one that I've just been buffing off. Those cracks are an issue, but they're not the real issue, causing him all that pain. You're just about to see exactly what it is that's giving this bull so much well, grief. I'm going to pull people on the block here because I'm just about to show you how serious a problem he has around here. As you're just about to see, he has a substantial amount of inflammation, which is why we so use two blocks. So as you can blocks. see, he's got a white line abscess in here. It probably tracks all the way down in front of his foot and it's completely burst open. So all in here will be inflamed and cause him serious pain, which is why we put two blocks on here. It should completely lift this off the ground. And at least give him some sort of comfort just now and hopefully that'll start to heal. So why is this bull so lame on three feet? Well, put simply, he's on concrete and he's wearing his feet out. He's running around all over the place chasing after the women. And that is causing some serious overwear on these precious feet, which has caused inflammation of the corium and a build-up of pressure because of that inflammation, which results in real pain.
As you can probably hear Charles talking away in the background, I love visiting farms like this, and actually visiting pretty much every farm that we work on. Over the years I've built up relationships with all of the people who work on these farms. Many of them have worked there for years upon years, and actually some of them even worked alongside my stepfather when he was a hoof trimmer for 27 years. So we have a long history and much to talk about. Hopefully you can see this back right foot has trimmed out really nicely and that hole should begin the healing process. On to foot number four. I actually trimmed his front left foot off camera when the block was drying. This is the worst of the lot and it's soon about to become very apparent exactly why that is. Okay, so clearly this is the problem. That greyish dark horn lets us know there's a problem lurking beneath the surface of the sole horn. And that problem is just about to become completely visible. This is hollow. So we'll both be one on the block. Okay, so he's got a void under here and that's a serious problem, causing him a lot of pain. So let's see if I am right and there is a hollow under here. What we're seeing here is the aftermath of an abscess that's been successfully treated using antibiotics and anti-inflammatories by Charles and the farmer themselves. This is the perfect time to trim a bull like this. Once the abscess and the infection has subsided, we can remove the overburdening tissue and horn and allow new, fresh, perfectly formed horn to replace that old, raggedy and useless horn. This trim is one that is extremely satisfying. Sometimes we can attend to a cow or a bull with an abscess and we're there too soon, believe it or not. We can put a block on and that will help their pain, but we can't start them on the route to recovery. Whereas in this instance, this is perfect timing for the occasion. By chance, more than skill, I must admit. But no matter how it's come about, I'm very happy that it has because this bull is going to be so much more comfortable in just one or two days. Let's not jump the gun though, because there is still a substantial amount of hoof horn to be removed before we finally get to see how this big fella is going to walk.
It amazes me sometimes when you think back to how this hoof looked when we first picked it up. It actually looked almost perfect, but all of this mess was lurking underneath. You see, it's really important not to judge a book by its cover, or at least a hoof by its sole. Nearly done. And with his foot all washed down, there are just a few more slices of hoof horn left to remove. These seem so insignificant, and I say it all the time, but it is so, so important to remove every last shred of loose and detached hoof horn if we truly want him to make a full recovery. He doesn't need all of this heel height now, because the block will take the weight. As I'm sure you can all hear for yourselves, he's starting to become a little impatient. So it's important we get him out of the crush as soon as we possibly can. Charles has just given him a shot of inflammatory drug, bleh, drugs, anti-inflammatory drugs, not inflammatory, anti-inflammatory, to give him some pain relief and take the swelling down from these feet and that will really help. It's one of the best things you can do for cows with lameness problems, although he is a bull. And with that so eloquently said, it's time to let him out of the crush and see him walk for the first time with three blocks on his feet. Clearly, he is not fighting fit. He is not skipping away in joy. But the future is slightly brighter for this big boy. Poor big guy is really feeling those feet. Charles has been trying to get me to come for about the last 10 days. Um, but with that busy, to be honest, we're out on Sunday morning because I couldn't come any other time. Which Charles really appreciates, don't you, Charles? Very much so. <laughs> I don't mind the slightest either if it helps him out. I know for certain that when we revisit this bull in a couple of weeks time, he will look like a different animal. He is well on his way to recovery, I promise you that. Guys, thanks for watching as ever, and remember, send me your flags. <laughs>